Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. I don't know if you can see these in the air or not. They're everywhere. I mean, they're everywhere. There's some above the barn. There's 30 or 40 of them probably. They're everywhere. And people wonder why some reasons that it's harder to raise queens later in the year like this late august of course today september 1st um these dragonflies that you see flying around everywhere the bee yards right there when you're trying to raise queens we've got some queen nukes way down on the other side these things right here i don't know if you can see how they're maneuvering but they just constantly hover I mean, there's 20 or 30 of them, just, there's one right there, and they're constantly looking and looking. And those returning queens, or queens going out to get mated, coming back, very, very risky. So, that's one reason that it's so hard this time of year to raise queens. Now, anytime you got water... It's good for the bees, but it also has a negative. It does attract dragonflies, which will chase down and kill your virgin queens or mated queens coming back, whichever it is. So it kind of, it, it, it works good It uh, in times of drought, which we, we haven't had drought this year. It's been the rainiest August I've ever seen. The ponds topped off overflowing when i was mowing today i was running through water from where the pond was overflowing but you can see the dragonflies are nipping the water they're attracted to the water so it's kind of a it works good in the sense that it keeps your bees with plenty of water with a nearby source very close but you can see where i mowed you got some grass in there. It won't hurt it. It helps. It'll it'll sink down to the bottom and help fill in the the gaps that are where if it's leaking any. So it kind of works as a it plugs it up a little bit and helps. But anyway, you can see the dragonflies out through there. Hopefully, you can see it on on here. You can see the water where they're they're nipping the water. But these things are horrible when you when it comes to raising queens. And there, there's so much against your queens this time of year. That's why I always tell new beekeepers, if you want to raise queens, try to do it as early as possible. Because the later you go, the harder it gets. It's just, I always try to compare it to uh, a football season. You know, a SEC team may open up with, a, with an easy Division II team, and at the end of the year, they're playing a, the, the best teams in the, the country. It's just, and that's how it works with beekeeping. When you get into August and September, you you got the most hive beetles, the most wax moths, the, the most dragonflies. Uh, mites are running rampant. Everything's against you at this time of year because that's why I always try to tell people don't let your guard down because in the spring, you'll look at beekeeping like this is so easy. I don't see what's so hard about it until they're hit in August july late august or late july august september and then they realize what happened my highs are gone now they let their guard down and they let all these things that are that wasn't around in early spring when it was so easy to make queens and to raise colonies and to build up your colonies it really got hard and now you're faced with a situation where you're trying to get your bees through the winter and you got all this negativity going against you. So that's why I'm, I try to point out to people, look at them, look how I'm flying up through there. I hope that shows up. There's like five or six right there just flying around. They're horrible, they're really bad. Right there you can kinda, I can see them now a little bit on the screen. They're everywhere, they're everywhere. Now, we have a swimming pool it's salt water 
and the, the bees are attracted to it very much. But when these dragonflies are out flying around the pool, those bees are gone. They see those dragonflies and they stay away. And it makes a big difference. But just a little message from barnyard bees. Keep in mind, don't let your guard down. This time of year, it gets harder. You want to keep your bees strong, not, not weak, because you're getting ready. We're into September now, so fall's right here. I mean, we're, it's right around the corner. And you want to keep these bees healthy, not weak. And all these elements that you see will make them weak, so stay on your toes. You know, keep up with your beetle traps. Uh, keep the grass under your hive bare. Treat for mites. It's time to start treating for mites. If you haven't already started, we start treating as soon as we pull the honey in late June. We start doing a monthly treatment. And then come uh, fall, usually October, we try to hit it once a week through October till the first frost. Look at them. Oh my goodness, they're horrible. I've never seen that many dragonflies. So let's, let's hope the, <laughs> my queens get a good returning because Right there's the predators. They're like hawks. But that's about it, folks. Don't forget, please click on the little bell, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Beast.